still looking very basic, um, still a construction site, but um, it's nice to be inside. It's not so cold outside. It was actually colder in Turin, in the valley where I was this weekend. I went to uh, Gran Ballon, which is um, uh, an antique market, which is every second Sunday of the month in an area where there's a lot of antique shops and um, once a month they expand and there's a lot of other antique dealers and uh, didn't buy that much but I've got a hanger for my coats it's going to be over there and I got a nice beautiful table this one it's a start, you know.
White chicken's a bit anxious to get outside. I think she uh, suffered from a, like a panic attack or something because she's losing his, her feathers after the attack. So uh, it's not a good timing, but uh, coming weeks it's not so cold, it's not freezing anymore. So she can heal, but she doesn't want to get out of the coop. Stove is working really well. It's always the same temperature in the house now. It's really stable, which is just comfortable. Right now, I just checked, it was about 16, a little over 16 degrees Celsius, which seems cold, but it feels warmer than that. Normally, with normal central heating, I want it up to 20, 21, but strangely enough, that's what it measures. Maybe because it measures closer to the walls, which are colder. I don't know. But um, I'm doing one fire a day now, and not very big fires because it's quite a warm week, it's a bit warmer outside. Right now, 5 degrees Celsius in the evening. And um, yeah, fire in the evening, and then in the morning, it's still the same temperature. It's very constant. Um, they look like that, they are quite big fires. If you would make a fire this big in a cast iron like a normal wood stove it would just get too hot in the house right because cast iron gives off its heat quickly and very fast but here all that heat of the fire first goes in the stones and then later it's been given off in the room so that's why these stoves are designed to build to make one fire that burns off in one or two hours depending on the amount of wood that's in and it doesn't get too hot. Uh, when the fire is hot, it gets hot right here, but all that energy is given off to the stones. Um, fire is just on, and this is still warm from the previous night. Maybe we can see by this infrared meter. So it's always most hot right here. At the moment, not very hot. 41 degrees Celsius, so that's 105 Fahrenheit here it's a little bit cooler 37 so that's 100 Fahrenheit and if we go here 29 degrees so it slowly cools off 18 degrees still higher than room temperature right these walls are 17 degrees not that cold if we go down but these are deep in the ground, so yeah, 17 degrees. I think the ones over there are colder. Yeah, those are 13. 
Um, yeah, so dinner is ready in a bit and I'm going to sit in front of the fire and it's always like a really nice moment of the day when the fire is on. Because it's a beautiful fire to look at. That glass door always stays clean and that um, the doors are part of the Tempcast kit, right? So the core and the doors and the, uh, the other parts are part of the kit and then this you would have to build yourself. But um, there's actually through the air intake, better have to show it here. So this is the air intake door. Um, goes up right here and this bit right here it blows it onto the fire so it go, it's blowing through those locks to the top um, and also it's going through the door frame down here uh, and they've done it like that so it keeps the glass nice and clean I've never had to clean this one I have to clean the one on top because right now you can't see anything uh, but this stays nice and clean which is really nice Oven door is now 90 degrees. It will get about to about 250 or something. And the stone will get hotter. I think at the end of this fire lap, 300 degrees Celsius. They can bake a bread after. And if I stack it up higher, some more wood, uh, I can probably get 400 degrees Celsius in the oven. So it's perfect if I want to make a pizza just after the fire. It's just really nice. And then through the night, it will stay warm, so you can also do a stew just much later if you make, for example, a fire in the morning you can cook a stew end of the day because it will be hot all day fire is pretty much finished right now it's quite hot here the door is 250 degrees um, upstairs it warmed, warmed up a bit it's about 18 degrees Celsius this stone is 75 degrees this is quite hot to touch same as this these are these really hot areas if I measure this, this is 35 degrees, 26 degrees, 65, 45, and this one 38. And the wood is 35 degrees here because the heat goes up. And then the back is core of the stove, I think is about. 100 degrees, 95 degrees Celsius. So that's where the, the water tank attach is going to be. And um, yeah.
Time for another walk. I haven't been on the other side for a while, so let's see. I'm not sure how icy the trail is, but it's probably going to be fine.
actually quite nice that the snow is gone. Makes this job a lot easier. Um, plumbing is going slow, I have to go to the shop again for another connection bit, which I forgot. Um, it's always like that with plumbing and electricity, a lot of planning going on and um, yeah, I wish I had done more this week, but um, yeah, that's just how it is in winter. Days are short. Um, if you look at nature, there's nothing happening here. It's very quiet, except from this chicken. It's hardly any birds, no insects. The white chicken is staying inside. She doesn't want to do anything. And uh, yeah, winter is slow. It's good to work less and kind of like take more time off. Um, so this is next week is the last week before Christmas, before I take a break for a, a little while. So I'm taking the time to clean everything up and organize the homestead a bit. Cleaning up the camp here. Um, and um, I have to clear up the birch logs that I cut this summer that are on the other side. Pile this all up so it's ready for winter and then when the snow comes all the work outside is done and that's nice. Uh, but next week is still going to be dry and above zero so comfortable to work outside, it's nice. And then uh, yeah.